It's time to get started with the Algorand network by setting up the most popular and notorious wallet known as Pera. And in this video, we will provide you with a complete guide on setting up a new Pera wallet, funding it with Algo tokens to explore the Algorand network. Nonetheless, nothing in this video is financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet for extra security and always conduct your own research. Before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to support our channel and stay up to date with the latest crypto guides, reviews, news, technical analysis and so much more. Friends, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to begin with the Para Wallet tutorial? Well, we are going to first show you that we are on the Para Wallet website, which is parawallet.app. We've got the official X page, which is at Para Algo Wallet. Give them a follow and turn on the notification bells if you want to stay up to date with everything regarding their wallet. Now, my friends, in this video, we're going to very simply show you how to download and set up the Para Wallet on mobile, of which is available on both Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Now, for those who want to understand and learn more about the Para Wallet, you can find out everything you need to know on their website. You can use it to secure and store and buy different digital assets such as NFTs or cryptocurrencies. You can swap between different assets and you can also explore all the decentralized applications on any device. And therefore, my friends, there is so much more that you can do and check out on the Para Wallet, all of which can be found on the website. But the main purpose of this video is to very simply show you how to get started with Para Mobile, and therefore we're going to very simply click the option on the front screen. Once you're here guys, you're going to very simply scan the QR code of which is going to take you directly to the App Store, dependent on obviously your mobile device, whether you've got an Apple device or a Samsung or Google device. So as you can see, I'm bringing up my phone towards the thing. In my camera app, I'm going to see a link pop up. Now, once you can see the Para Algo wallet appear on your app store, you are going to very simply choose whether or not you are ready to get started, of which I'm going to click the get button as you can see. You are going to be prompted to install it, of which it will just take a few seconds, dependent on your internet speed, of course. Now it says to open up the wallet. So before you get started, guys, you can obviously take a look at the wallet, scroll through the images and so on. But very simply, I am now ready to open up the Para Algo wallet to begin. So from the get go, welcome to Para Wallet. Here guys, we are going to be prompted with either A, creating a new account, B, importing an existing account, or C, watching an account. And therefore guys, in this video, the whole purpose was to show you how to create a brand new wallet. And therefore we are going to go with the first option of creating a new account. Once you click this option, guys, it's going to ask you to create a passphrase backup for your account. Creating a passphrase backup will allow you to recover your account. Without the passphrase, if you lose your device, remove the account or delete the app, you can permanently lose access to your Algorand account. So you must understand how important it is to secure your passphrase. Now, you can either A, skip for now, or B, click I understand and begin, of which I would recommend reading through and getting it all set up and secure before you get started and deposit any assets. So, I'm going to click I understand. Here, it says prepare to write down your secret recovery phrase, also known as your recovery phrase. This, guys, is so, so important. I can't stress it enough. Your seed phrase, aka your recovery phrase, is so, so important and so vital. You must make sure that you please do not write it down on any electronic device and confirm that you've written it down correctly. Triple check all the spelling, triple check this all in the correct order, and triple check that you only have access to it. So I'm going to very simply click, I'm ready to begin. And as you can see, guys, we are prompted with 25 words. Now these 25 words that appear on the screen is your seed phrase, AKA your recovery phrase. And therefore you're going to need to store all of these words safely offline, like I said, written down in order of one to 25, and you're going to triple check the spelling. Guys, make sure that you do this, write it down on a piece of paper, write it on a steel sheet, could be anything like a book, but please, 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 like I said, don't write it down on your computer, your laptop, your phone, your iPad, anything that is powered by electricity is a no-go. Guys, that includes your notes, your iMessages, your messages, your WhatsApp, your Telegram, a Google document, a Word document, please all offline and now write down your seed phrase. And then once you've secured your seed phrase, my friends, and you've written it down in all in order from one to 25, like I said, you are then ready to click next. Now, from here, from here, it's going to prompt you to select a few words from your seed phrase of which is going to be one to 25. It's going to ask you for either A, select word 20, select word 24, and select word 21, for example, which are all of my options. Now, depending on obviously yours is the one that you will enter. And then after that, guys, we are good to go. 
So I'm going to very simply enter mine. And now, as you can see, the passphrase is now verified. Keep this recovery phrase in a secure location that is accessible only by you. Do not lose this recovery phrase. Yes, we can definitely agree with that. So my friends, from here, we're going to very simply click next. And we are going to now see that we've got our account name popped up with WZYYMB. That is not my name, but we are going to very simply change it to a custom name. It could be Theo. It could be High Crypto Guy. It could be Alt Crypto Talk. It could be whatever you like, guys. Finish account creation and now set up a nice secure pin of which you are going to use to log into your wallet at any time that you like. Therefore, I'm going to set my pin code now. You can set it up later if you wish. But once you're ready, enter the pin, re-enter it, and then you can decide whether or not you want to now use the biometric authentication, of which I'm personally not going to do. This is going to be able to scan your face to log into your wallet, and it's entirely up to you if you want to do that. I'm personally not going to do that, but I'm now going to complete my setup of the wallet by either A, clicking the buy algo option, or B, start using Para Wallet, of which I'm going to do. Now friends, Para Algo Wallet would like to send you notifications of which I'm going to allow. From here, you are now going to see your portfolio completely set up and obviously has zero balance in it. And therefore, the next step is to very simply show you how to deposit Algo tokens into your Para Wallet to get started. Now, very simply, guys, on the Para Wallet is absolutely beautiful. On the home page, if you look at the bottom, you will see a black little circle with the Para Wallet logo. If you click that, you can see that we've got a few options. The first is to stake, the second is to swap, the third is to buy and sell, the fourth is to receive, and the fifth is to browse decentralized applications. Therefore, what we want to do is very simply narrow it down by options of which we can get assets into our Pera wallet, and there are very simply two methods of which we can do so. The first option is very simply the on and off ramp option of which enables you to buy and sell algo directly through the Pera wallet. As you can see here, Buy or sell, so you can buy Algo with Meld, use Apple Pay credit cards or bank transfer. Sell crypto, buy gift cards with Bidali, so you can use your Algo, USDC or USDT balance to transfer them into gift cards for real world use. However, you can buy Algo directly through your phone and then it would take you over to a Safari browser of which you would then complete using a third party. Now, it's entirely up to you if you want to use this option, my friends. However, for myself, I'm going to be going with the second option, which is back on the wallet. If you go back over to the circle at the bottom and then where it says receive down below, this is exactly what we want to use. And therefore, what you can do is, my friends, you can very simply use centralized exchanges to withdraw directly to your wallet address. Now, you can see this is my wallet address for the Para wallet, which is going to come in handy in a second. And this is what I'm going to use to withdraw from my centralized exchange. And therefore, guys, as you can see here, I've got my wallet address. I'm going to very simply click the copy address button, of which now you can see the address is copied to clipboard. This is pivotal for the next step, so make sure that you've copied your wallet address if you are completing the second option of using a centralized exchange. Therefore, as you can see, just as an example, guys, I am showing you my crypto.com exchange account of which I am going to use to withdraw my Algorand tokens. You can use any centralized exchange such as OKX, Bybit, or whichever one you prefer. And therefore, guys, in my crypto.com wallet, you can see that I've got 107 Algo tokens, and I want to withdraw these tokens into my Pera wallet. So what I would do is, my friends, dependent on your centralized exchange, it would have a different user interface, but the buttons and the process would be exactly the same. You would just very simply go to transfer and then you're not going to deposit because that would put assets into the centralized exchange. Instead, we want to go with the withdraw option. From here, we want to go with an external wallet, which is going to be a non-custodial wallet, such as the Pera wallet. If I now click add wallet address, it's now going to ask us to select a network of which up top it says Algorand or Kronos. Now you can send your Algo tokens to the Kronos network if you wish, but myself personally guys, we are going with the Algorand network as we are using the Para wallet directly. And therefore now, this is where the crucial part comes in because if you remember before, we copied our wallet address from our Para wallet, which was vital. And therefore, if you see here the Algo wallet address, if you now click paste, as you can see, our wallet address appears in the bar. So that is very simply what we want to do. And remember that sending to a non-algo wallet will result in lost funds. 
So please guys, triple check your wallet address, triple check that you are sending it to an Algorand address. And then from here guys, you are very simply going to add the receiptance name and details. And then you're going to just click withdraw. Choose however many tokens you want to withdraw. I'm going to withdraw the entire 107 algo tokens into my Pera wallet. And very simply wait a few minutes for your algo tokens to arrive in your Pera wallet. So now, if you go back over to your Pera wallet and you go back... As you can see, my friends, we have now got our ALGO tokens received into our Pera wallet and we are ready to explore the Algorand ecosystem directly through our mobile. Now, this is absolutely fantastic. It costs absolutely nothing to do with the centralized exchange because the Algorand fees are absolutely minuscule. I absolutely love it. And from here, my friends, what we can very simply do is utilize any of the features through Pera. So one feature I do want to show you is very simply the swapping feature. So you can swap your algo tokens into any tokens through the Para wallet. So you can see if you click the swap icon on the home page here, my friends, you can swap in the Para wallet directly. As I said, you would just choose an account and now you want to swap whichever tokens you have. Obviously, we only have algo tokens. So let's just say, for example, I swap five algo and then down below it says to choose an asset. This is the token that we want to buy into. And therefore, if you are going to swap into another token, you can choose an asset. Here, guys, you can see a wide range of different tokens within the Algorand ecosystem. And therefore, it's entirely up to you which tokens that you would pick. So therefore, once you know what you are going to choose, guys, it is entirely up to you. Let's just say we chose the stablecoin USDC. I'm going to very simply click approve. And now it's going to load up. And now we can choose how much we want to swap into USDC. So I've decided to swap five algo tokens, which is $2.07, of which we are going to receive $2.07. So if I click swap, I'm now going to click confirm swap after reading and confirming all the details. Obviously, if you are comfortable. Now it's going to send the transaction and you will receive $2.05. So obviously there was a two cent fee after all of the process took place. So now, guys, if you go over to your account under accounts, you can now see that in my Theo account, I have got Algo and I've got USDC, of which I can now decide to swap back into Algo or another token if I wanted to. I would just click swap. I would just choose my USDC tokens above and then choose an asset to swap into. I could swap back into Algo and very simply choose a maximum amount and swap it all back into my Algo tokens. Very easy, very sleek and very simple. Now, my friends, that is very simply how to swap using the Pera wallet. Although there are many other features such as staking and checking out NFTs and so on, I just very wanted to simply show you the Discover tab of which is going to be your number one hub of exploring the Algorand ecosystem. So here, guys, you can take a look at the network itself. So you can see the transactions per second. You can take a look at the overall news. You can go over to the next tab beside the home page and go over to DApps. Here, guys, you'll be able to check out a wide range of popular decentralized applications in the Algorand ecosystem, which is absolutely awesome. Here, you can use decentralized exchanges, check out different games, check out different staking options or domain name services or tools or whatever you're looking for, guys. There is everything to utilize on the homepage of Para Wallet right through the discovery of their dApps. Also, guys, if you want to take a look over at market, this will enable you to look at the top movers over the last 24 hours, the top losers over the last 24 hours. You can also check out the top NFTs beside the market tab. If you check that out, my friends, you will check out all of the most popular NFT collections within the Algorand ecosystem, of which you can check out the trending collections, the best collections, and so on. So, guys, it's entirely up to you how you're going to utilize this wallet. In the future, we'll be exploring the Algorand ecosystem further, so be sure to stay tuned. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and if you have any requests whatsoever in terms of content, let us know in the comment section down below, and we'll be happy to help you. Friends, we can't wait to see you in the next one.